VaxTrack is a logistics management information system designed to help immunisation health workers keep track of vaccine stock as it is received and dispatched. It's also designed to simplify monthly immunisation reporting. In 2011, the Vietnamese National Expanded Programme on Immunisation introduced VaxTrack in the provinces of Phu Thuong, Cong Tri and Ben Che. The new system was intended to provide the following benefits. Increase the accuracy and timeliness of vaccine stock data and immunisation reporting. Reduce the amount of time that health workers spend compiling reports. And increase the availability of data, especially for upper levels at different locations. This video shows how VaxTrack works and how it has affected health workers in Vietnam. It asks three key questions about the new system. One, why was it needed? Two, how does it work? Three, what was the impact? Vietnam's paper-based stock management system made it difficult to accurately track vaccine stock in a timely manner. Lacking up-to-date stock information, supply chain managers struggled to order the correct amount of vaccine and efficiently manage its distribution. This led to under-ordering, resulting in stockouts and missed opportunities to vaccinate children, and over-ordering, which resulted in vaccines being wasted. The paper-based system also made immunisation reporting difficult. Each month, health workers at each level needed to compile detailed immunisation reports, a process that was burdensome, tedious and led to inaccuracies. Delays in completing and approving these reports meant that EPI managers were reliant on out-of-date information. And the paper-based system was of little value in helping health workers trace vaccines from particular lots, useful when responding to adverse events following immunisation. Let's take a look at how storekeepers are using VaxTrack to keep track of stock. Hi, a storekeeper at the National Vaccine Store needs to record the arrival of a shipment of vaccines. She logs into VaxTrack and enters the shipment details. Next, she needs to record the dispatch of a vaccine shipment to a regional store. Done. Sang, a storekeeper at the regional vaccine store, also uses VaxTrack to record the shipment's arrival. When he logs in, he can see important information, such as shipments due, vaccines that are close to expiry, and stock levels that are above or below the recommended quantity. He locates the incoming shipment and confirms its details. He can view current stock levels for any vaccine in his store. Now let's see how VaxTrack can be used by EPI managers to generate vaccine use reports. These reports include detailed information on vaccine quantities received, used and discarded. First, information on stock quantities at the district level is recorded in VaxTrack by province health workers. Here's Hong, a national EPI manager. He wants to know how much BCG vaccine has been used in each region. He can use VaxTrack to generate vaccine use reports at the district, province, regional and national level. In case of an adverse event, Hong can also locate vaccine stock from any given lot. Let's look at how VaxTrack can be used to generate monthly immunisation reports on the number of children vaccinated. First, information on vaccines administered in each commune is entered in VaxTrack by district health workers, using the paper reports received from the communes. 
EPI managers throughout the country can then use Vaxtrack to generate aggregated immunisation reports at the district, province, regional and national level. Vaxtrack has provided three key benefits. First, it has improved the accuracy of vaccine stock data, enabling health workers to improve stock management throughout the system. In the three provinces that implemented Vaxtrack, data accuracy increased from 77% to 100%, based on comparison between recorded stock and actual stock. Second, Vaxtrack has reduced the amount of time that EPI managers spend compiling monthly reports. With Vaxtrack, the average time taken to create monthly child immunisation reports was reduced from 22 to 16 minutes at province level. At district level, it was reduced from 39 to 23 minutes. And the average time taken to create all monthly vaccine use reports reduced from 88 to 43 minutes. The third benefit of Vaxtrack is that it has increased the availability of stock data and reports, especially at upper levels at different locations. Mm -hmm.